An IP rating has become increasingly common among gadgets and electronic devices in the past few years and even more so on smartphones. However, not everyone understands what it means and more importantly, how it affects them and the functioning of their devices. Let's start off with the meaning itself. IP stands for ingress protection. Ingress protection marking simply refers to the degree of protection against objects or elements. Let us assume that a device has an IP AB rating where A and B are numerals. The first numeral in an IP rating will always be in the ingress protection rating against solids such as dust, while the second numeral of B in this case is always used to denote the ingress protection against liquids such as water. The rating for solids is on a scale of 0 to 6, with 6 being the highest that a device can achieve. With a rating of 6, it means that the device has complete protection against dust and a vacuum must be applied in order to get the said rating. The rating for liquids is from 0 to 8 for most consumer use cases, however there is a 6K and 9K for certain products. With a rating of 8, the device is capable of being immersed in water without any damage up to a specified depth and a specified duration of time. Now when it comes to reading the code and understanding it, you'll need to combine both together. Let's take the newly announced Nokia 8 which has an IP54 rating. This means that the Nokia 8 is dust protected but not entirely dust proof as it has a solid ingress rating of 5 and it's only splash proof and not waterproof since it has a liquid ingress rating of 4. In comparison, the Galaxy S8 series with an IP68 rating is completely dust proof and can withstand being underwater for 30 minutes at a depth of 1.5 meters. There are even devices that may feature an X instead of a numerical such as an IPX7 rating. This means that while the device is waterproof, it isn't dustproof so you need to be careful when using it around such environments. It is important to note the fact that even with all these ratings, there are chances of dust or water getting into your device if you have a faulty or damaged device or you fail to close a port that will make the ingress protection redundant on some devices. It's also important to note that there isn't a standard rating for devices or smartphones and not all brands advertise the ratings even if there is some degree of protection. For example, the Google Pixel is IP53 rated but Google doesn't really advertise it as some people may assume any IP rating automatically means that the device is waterproof or dustproof. Our goal here was to help people understand the difference and the meaning of IP ratings. We hope this video was helpful to you and we plan on bringing more such videos out in the near future. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to get the latest updates from us. Thanks for watching this video. See you again in the next one.